a number of years ago, uh, it, it's uh, it's been probably eight to ten years ago, a, a young Japanese rock star came to my office in Texas, the number one rock group in Japan. He was he was an English boy, but born and raised in Japan, and he became the the number one. Steve Fox was the number one rock star in Japan. Thousands and thousands of young people flocked, and uh, in the process of being a star, somewhere along there, the Holy Spirit came to him, dealt with him about his sins, and he gave his heart to Jesus. And when he came to my office, he was in a dilemma. He said, Brother Dave, I, I go to uh, certain pastors and they say, oh, what an opportunity to uh, be a witness for Jesus. Stay in it. Pass out Bibles. Pass out tracts. He wound up throwing little Bibles out in the crowd. But you know, the thing that bothered him was that young people on the side that he was witnessing to about Jesus, they were saying, well, there's nothing different about you. Why should I want your Jesus when you're just like me? You're just like me. And it, it stuck in his crawl. I said, Steve, he said, but I've got a wife and I've got a child. Uh, I, I need the money. Uh, I... I I've been told by some outstanding ministers and evangelists that I can do this and that the Lord has made me a star so that I can be a witness for Jesus nationwide. Japan needs somebody like that. It's so close to the gospel. I said, Steve, that's a lie from the pit of hell. I said, do you love Jesus with all your heart? He said, yes, I do. He said, you need to be baptized with the Holy Ghost. But if you're, going to be, or if you're going to be baptized with the Holy Ghost, you're going to lay down the whole world. He said, well, Brother Deep, how am I going to reach Japan then? I said, you're going to do that through the power of the Holy Ghost. You'll do it as a missionary and not as a rock star. Steve knelt in my office and made a total surrender of his life to the Lord. He said, all right, Jesus, here I am. I've got no money. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I said, the first thing you do, you get your, your rock group together. There were five, I think, four or five in his group. And I said, you break the news that it's all over. He said, I'll do it. He went back and told them. And, and, and some of them nodded their head. Well, it's about time is what they were thinking. You say one thing and live another. But that boy surrendered totally. We raised some money and sent him to Hawaii to a Bible school, to a missionary training thing. And God so anointed that boy. He has a radio program in Japan now. He's a missionary all over Asia, winning many, many souls to Jesus Christ. 